YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh back up in this thing with another one. We woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the most high, man. Let's get it. Hey, dog, y'all gonna have to forgive me, man. I'm not sounding myself. I'm a little under the weather, feeling a little sick, man. But we still gonna get after it, bro. We still gonna get to it. So with that being said, let's get into the video, man. I'm gonna just refer back to my last video about keeping things in the past and stop trying to go back and rewrite those things or trying to improve so you can go back to the past and try to convince people things because the part of the reason why you'd want to do that is because you look at the past as something that didn't need to happen. You look at those situations, relationships, those things you may have encountered, and you look back on them with a little bit of anger. You look back on it saying that it didn't need to happen. You probably look back on it and blame the people of that scenario or of that situation, things that aren't you, people that aren't you. You blame that on them for it happening. And you sit there and you, you look back with anger. And so you constantly are thinking that those things didn't need to happen. But I'm here to tell you that those things are definitely needed. It was necessary for it to happen. It was necessary, bro. God will close doors all the time, bro, just so you can move in the direction in which he wants you to move into. So you can move into that open door that he has, has designed for you. See, you probably don't want to let that closed door go because you had a lot of feelings invested into it. Probably had some money invested into it. You probably had some, I don't know what, but for some reason you look back on there and say, man, I didn't need to lose that. Or man, we didn't have to go through that. Or we wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to go through that if so-and-so didn't do X, Y, and Z. Not understanding that, bro. You losing sight of the bigger picture here. You not paying attention to the thing that, or the opportunity that has shown itself by you not being in that situation no longer or that thing or that someone doing you wrong bro I'll give you guys an example about me man i used to be engaged bro this time around last year bro i was engaged bro and how i got to that point you know i found a girl who i deeply enjoyed who i deeply enjoyed being with you know love with all my heart etc cetera, etc cetera. Before you guys start thinking like, oh, well, you didn't vouch well or anything, bro. I, I did. I was red pilled. I was understanding of female nature. I understood all that stuff. But me, my goals and what I have for my life is I still want to be married. I still do. Um, but I'm not engaged anymore. And I quick and it's really it could have been really easy for me to look back and point, point the finger at her and blame her for the situation or or blame this for, uh, or blame my job for the reason why we not together and, and, and blaming that and saying, man, if I wasn't doing this, then we would have been doing that and yada, yada, yada. Not understanding that those things, that what happened needed to happen. It needed to happen. Me getting engaged, me introducing this woman to my family, saying this is the woman who I'm going to marry. We all starting to, you know what I'm saying, jump the broom and all that stuff. And it just being yanked away just like that, bro. It, it came down quick out of nowhere, I feel like. And so for a good amount of time, I would say about six months, I was looking back, blaming the situation, blaming the circumstances, blaming everything else except taking accountability and accepting responsibility that this happened for a reason, that this happened for my for the betterment of me so I can get back on track and do better because I thought that that's all I needed. I thought that that was my wife. I thought that I didn't need to go up from there. I said, I'm cool right here. This is where I'm at, you know, doing what I was doing, you know, Working however much I thought was a work, I was working enough. Just to give you guys a little glimpse about how the thing. Once I found her, bro, I didn't want to do anything else. I just wanted to work constantly, do the things I was doing. I was still working out, but there was some sort of drive. There was some sort of voice in me telling me that I needed to be doing more, but I didn't do more. Didn't want to be doing more. I found my girl. I'm still having a good career. I'm still working out. I'm doing everything I thought that I was supposed to be doing. But then that door closed and I was talking to my homeboy, man. He said, bro, you got to stop looking back with so much anger. 
He said it's easy for you to tap into your emotions and look at look at everybody else and seeing how everybody else failed you. But the harder thing to do is to use your logic, use your reasoning. Understanding that something may present itself to something better. And I'm not talking about a woman or I'm not talking about a wife or anything like that, but something that you have not gone through. And if you are in this situation and you continue to stay in this circumstance, you will not tap into what God's plan has for you. And he was telling me it's something great, bro. He said, this can't be it. We got to keep grinding for more. There's still more work to do. This happened to remind you that there's still stuff that you need to do. Said. The Lord presented a, a wife or so you thought a wife. And you thought that you was doing everything right. You shoot again. You're trying to get married. You're trying to live like Jesus. You're trying to you thought you was doing everything right. Right. And then it all be taken away from you like that. And then you wondering what's happening. And he quickly reminded me, he's like, bro, there's more to you than this. I said, don't limit yourself to this. Don't look back on this situation and saying, wow, well, me, it's all my fault. Or why, why do I have to go through this? Or why did that person bring me through this? Me, I was over there talking about some, oh, I bought the ring and I spent all this much money on stuff, bro. I'm like, who cares about how much I spent? Money comes and goes. It's a part of the flesh. Can't go, it can't go with you when you die. So what's the point of tripping about it? I said, bro, you got food in your stomach? Yeah. You got a house to live over? That's over your head? Yeah. All right then, bro. You're going to win some and you're also going to lose some, big dog. It's all a part of the process. It's all a part of the grind. You ain't going to win every single time, dog. And so, here we are a year later, finally doing what God has destined for me to do making these videos, inspiring people to do better, to achieve better, to stop focusing on the things that are outside themselves and just focusing on within. Here I am doing exactly what I was supposed to do. And I can admit that I wouldn't be doing this say we got married. Cause like I said, bro, I wasn't trying to work on anything. I wasn't trying to get better, but because I went through that and now it gave me a different perspective. And now I'm sharing this perspective for y'all for y'all to share with me and look back on the past and stop looking back on the past and saying it didn't have to happen, bro. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Baby girl, you was in that relationship with that dude and y'all finally called it quits because he was making you feel insecure and you thinking that you're going to hop into a relationship with somebody that doesn't make you feel insecure. You're going to be right back in the same situation because you forgetting the problem. You're not looking at yourself. Can't nobody make you feel insecure but you. Nobody else. If you're feeling insecure, baby girl, you need to do something about it. You need to stop expecting somebody else to not make you feel insecure. And you need to just go out there and claim it and work for it. You insecure? You feeling insecure for some reason? Okay, what you going to do about it? Why are you feeling that way? Oh, it's because of this? No, it's because of that? All right, then. Is it something that we can change? Can we do something about it? Yes? All right, let's get to work, dog. Stop blaming things on other people. Stop blaming the things that happened in the past on other things on, on other people. The things happen for a reason. It happened for you to get to work. For you to understand that there's more to you. That whatever that you want in life, it can be yours. And sometimes you may think that all that I want in life is just this. But God is here to tell you that, no, I got something more for you, dog. This is not the end of you. This, what you went through was to quickly remind you of where you needed to be. I'm glad everything happened the way it did for me. Yeah, I was sad at first. I was like, bro, I, I thought I was supposed to be with this woman. Now I'm, now I'm not. Shoot, we was over here planning our life together. I was planning where I was going to be at five years, ten years. I already knew what the name of the kids was going to be, bro. How many of y'all look back on that situation or y'all probably have a situation like that right now and instead of you doing the harder right, you do the easier wrong. You look back with emotion, you look back with anger and you blame it on somebody else. I'm telling you, you need to do the harder right. You need to look back with reasoning, look back with logic, look back with understanding. Understanding that things happen the way it was for a reason. 
that that door closed for a reason so I can be pushed into another door that is open and that's the door that God has destined for me. God put you out of that relationship because you was feeling insecure because he wants you to work on your insecurity, bro. He don't want you to hop into the next relationship still feeling that way. He wants you to work on it. That's why he took it away from you. That's why he closed the door on you. Because he says, I'm demanding something greater of you. You being in this current situation ain't going to cut it. It's time to move on to something better, to something greater. You feel me? Here I am, bro. Getting DMs, comments every single week. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Sometimes I had to go a little bit a while to feeling unappreciated, feeling like what I was saying was not right. Me feeling the way I felt, like I shouldn't feel that way. I went through that just so I can appreciate it 10 times more when I share it with somebody else. I feel appreciated now. And I'm not even in another relationship. I feel her now. I'm not even in another relationship. Choice is up to you, dog. It had to happen, bro. You can keep continue to blame it on something else. Look back. Keep saying it didn't have to happen, but bro, it did have to happen. But you choosing what perspective, which lens to look at it through, that's all on you, big dog. That's all on you. I'm just here to tell you that it happened for a reason because there's something better for you, dog. It's higher quality for you, dog. It's waiting on the other end. You may be doubtful. You may not believe me. Don't believe me. Believe in him. Do you have faith that even though despite your doubts, still have faith that it can happen? It's all up to you, but that's all I got for y'all boys. Make sure y'all like and share. I'm going to holler at y'all.